If you have mixed emotions when it comes to your relationship with money, you're not alone. According to the new Relationship with Money survey conducted by financial services firm Edward Jones, nearly all Americans, or 92%, feel there's room for improvement when it comes to their financial health. Here with more is Neela Richardson, an investment strategist. Thanks for being here. So tell us more about this survey. What were the most compelling results? Well, one of the key findings is that 81% of Americans who responded feel like they are in control of their current financial situation. So that's great news. But within that big number, if you dig a little deeper, there was a range of emotions when it comes to money. And remember, money is going to be one of the most important relationships you'll have in your lifetime. It's important to understand these emotions. Only one in five of the respondents say they feel happy when they think about saving. Uh, that means four in five respondents had something other than happiness when it comes to saving. And those emotions range from feeling confident, which is great, to feeling overwhelmed and anxious. And so whatever that emotion was, what was key for my, our survey is that Americans bring emotions to the table when they think about their relationship with money. Oh, yeah, I think that's understandable. So what are some <laughs> warning signs that you right. are in an unhealthy relationship with your money? Well, it's a mix of right brain and left brain. It's your emotions and your uh, analytics. So let's start with your emotions. Do you feel in control of your money or is your money controlling you? If you feel controlled by money, that's a sign that you may have an unhealthy relationship with money. And then you wanna make sure analytically that money is performing the role that you need it to perform. And we think that is a balance between covering short-term spending needs and long-term goals. If you feel that you are not in sync with your long-term goals or not covering your short-term needs, then that is an, a, a, an example, a sign that you have an unhealthy relationship with money. Okay, we just have a couple seconds left, but can you give just one or two tips that people can take away to improve their financial health? The most important tip is understand what your relationship is with money. Key in on your emotions because if you can identify them, you can take emotions out of your financial decision making process. And secondly, have a financial plan in place. That way you are not being reactive to money, you're being proactive. And that will relieve some of the anxiety and stress when it comes to saving. All right, thank you so much for your help.